Evacuation order has been lifted for all but about 130 of the homes in the fire zone. Yeah, crews are now searching for, through the rubble, mm -hmm. looking for anything that could be saved. KCL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is there live to let us know if they found anything. Michelle. Well, Juan and Amy, they have found a few things at the house where I'm standing here. The homeowner hiked in a couple of hours ago and he talked to the firefighters and he and he told them that he was hoping to find some jewelry and photographs and those firefighters were happy to help him search. My wife had some heirlooms and jewelry, but these, they're being great. They're trying, but Everything they pulled out has been toasted. My girl's house on Coronado Point burned to the ground. It's been a hard, tough couple days. My kids grew up here, so, you know, my grandkids were going to come play here, so it's tough. Earl hiked into his neighborhood hoping he could find anything meaningful in the rubble. Crews from the Orange County Fire Authority dug with shovels and sifted through the ashes. They're looking in our, our, our closet where my wife had her drawers, where uh, some jewelry would have been, and and then she wanted the baby books, but they were um, in a cabin in the garage and, you know, all the paper stuff's all burned up. So there's, there's really nothing salvageable. It's mostly uh, exercise and futility just here to satisfy a curiosity, I guess. A few doors down, another fire crew searched for mementos for a homeowner. She pointed to a spot in the middle of the destruction near what's left of a sink and some stairs, hoping to find her keepsakes. But before this can happen, firefighters must remove hazards from the burned out houses and put out hot spots. The second part, which is the most rewarding part for us, is in the midst of all this disaster and heartache and hard work, trying to find something that a value that means something to these residents. We know they're not here. They want to be home so badly. Mike Earl told me he wants to live on Coronado Point once again if the city and the HOA will approve a modern design with concrete construction and no eaves. If they let us do that, then I'll build here. If not, I'll leave that lot as it sits, take my insurance money and be gone. But with so many houses here, we have to protect ourselves and that's the only way to do it. It's going to be harder than heck to even insure these these houses in the future if you don't do that kind of construction. Back here live in Laguna Niguel, you can notice that the wind, those coastal winds are kicking up once again. That's customary in this area here. I'm standing on Coronado Point. Now at 3 o'clock today, hundreds of residents who live in this general area were told that they could go back to their homes. But the 72 houses, the people who live in these homes on Coronado Point and the surrounding streets where homes burned, those people are still being kept out because the fire crews say it's not safe for them to come back just yet. That's the latest live in Laguna Niguel. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. And we can see the reason why behind you. Michelle, thanks. Firefighters are having